How spread betting works. Welcome to the second in our series of video guides to spread betting. In the first, we gave you the basics. In this video, we'll show you what you can bet on, how you decide which bets to make, and how we work. The great thing about spread betting is that you can bet on most financial markets. The price of market indices, individual shares, foreign currencies, industry sectors, gold and other commodities, from the FTSE to the Hang Seng, and even interest rates. There are thousands of possible bets to make. And the rise of broadband internet means you have access to real-time news and data from all over the world whenever you want it. So, where do you start? Well, don't behave like a kid in a sweet shop. If you don't know what you're doing and dive straight in willy-nilly, you could lose a lot of money very fast. Markets can move very quickly, and if you don't monitor your position or use risk management tools like a stop loss, it can be wiped out in your lunch hour. So don't rush in, be patient. Start with what you know. Monitor a few markets first. See if your hunches prove correct. Perhaps start with five companies you know very well. You can set up a demo account so you can get a feel for how it works and see whether you're temperamentally cut out for the high adrenaline and fascinating world of spread betting. But with a real account, you can fund it with £150 and then make bets for as little as a pound. Not everyone is cut out for it. And you don't have to bet the farm and lose a fortune if the market goes against you. You can open an account with a deposit. Now, on top of this, because spread betting is a leveraged product, we will ask for a margin deposit on each trade you place. Now, this varies slightly according to which component share you're trading. This is the deposit required to open the position. If your position moves against you and your losses exceed the margin deposit, you'll be asked to deposit more funds to cover the remaining margin requirement. The level of margin deposit can vary from 0.5 to 100%. We'll cover risk management in the next video. So, spread betting money should only be money you can afford to lose. No kidding. We don't charge dealing fees, just the quoted bid offer spread. So, the tighter the spread, that is, the smaller the distance between the upper and lower values, the better it is for the spread better. This means that the asset you've made a bet on, the FTSE 100 index, for example, which has a one-point spread, only has to move two points in your favour and you're in the money. With share dealing, you make a loss from the second you trade because of share dealing charges and stamp duty at 0.5%. In the next video, we'll explain the effects of gearing and how you can manage risk.